Hi guys, welcome to your weekly live stream. So today's focus is going to be abs and arms in our core flow class. Let's get started by coming down onto your back. So come on down, keep the feet on the mat about hip distance apart, bend the knees, and bring your hands down by your sides. Let your shoulder blades soften, untuck your chin a little bit, and then take your three big grounding breaths. So inhale, fill the belly, sigh it out. Two more, inhale, fill your belly, your lungs. Sigh it out. One more big breath in. Big breath out. And then just continue to deepen your breath. So we're gonna take a few more cycles, just resting here and breathing. Letting the day fall away and shifting your focus to here and now, you on your mat. Getting ready for practice. And as you bring your focus to your breath, we're gonna to begin to transition into our toning breath. So for that, as you inhale, you're actually gonna soften the belly, allow for that expansion of the rib cage. And then on the exhale, we're gonna find that abdominal core engagement by drawing the navel in towards the spine and engaging and lifting through the pelvic floor. Inhale, you release and you soften the abdominals and the belly. And now exhale, find that engagement, draw navel to spine, lift up through the pelvic floor. And then inhale, soften. So take a few more rounds of this toning breath. This is a great way to wake up the abs, get them ready for practice. It also tones the abs itself just by breathing. So two more, inhale, soften and expansion. Exhale, draw your navel to your spine, lift up through the pelvic floor. One more, inhale, soften. Exhale, engage. And then just release the breath and let it flow naturally. So we'll come back to that breath as we move through practice today. But for now, what I want you to do is take your hands to your hip points. We're just gonna rest the hands here on the hip points and we're gonna come into a few pelvic tilts. So for that, you're gonna tilt the pelvis towards you. That means your tailbone's coming towards you. You're gonna press through the heels and it's just a little micro lift of the low back off the mat, teeny little lift, and then we lower it back down. So let's try that again. Tilt the pelvis towards you, press through the heels, little lift, and then bring it back down. In, let's, in, let's include the breath. So exhaling, we're going to tilt the pelvis towards us, press and get that micro lift. Inhaling, we're gonna lower down and soften. Exhale, tilt pelvis towards you, press little lift. Inhale, come down and soften. Two more, exhale, tilt towards you and lift. Inhale, come down. Last one, exhale, we're engaging, pressing, lifting. Inhale, bring it down. Let the lower back ground, let the breath flow, nose or knees to nose, bring it in, winding pose. Come on up, inhale, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, curl up, exhale, come down. And take it into some circles. So just sending these circles in one direction. 
and send your circles the other way. Bring your knees back into center. Now place your feet back down onto the mat, about hip distance apart again, not too far from your seat here. Interlace your fingers, bring it to the back of the head. Head presses into the hands. The core's gonna lift us up. We're gonna do just three little ab curls here. So press through the heels, inhale, expansion. Exhale, engage the core, navel to spine, and then curl on up just to the base of your shoulder blades. It's very slow. And then inhale, soften as you come down. Okay, next one. Exhale, engage the core, curl up. Take it slow. Inhale, come down. One more, on your exhale, press through the heels, engage the core, curl up. Inhale, come down, release your head, hands down by your sides. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. We're gonna put all of that together to create a little sequence. So it's gonna look something like this. You're going to inhale right here. And as you exhale, you're going to come into that pelvic curl. So tilt the pelvis towards you, press through the heels, and you this time come all the way up until you find a bridge. Inhale, you're going to float the arms all the way up and overhead, let them come to the ground. Exhale, you're going to curl your back all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, you're going to reach for the ceiling, and exhale, keep reaching through the fingertips and curl up, upper ab curl, and then inhale, arms down beside you, head down to the mat. So let's do that again. On the exhale, tilt the pelvis towards you, cause engaged, press up, bridge. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, back onto the mat. Inhale, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, upper ab curl. Inhale, bring it all down. Keep going. Exhale, pelvic curl. Come on up. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, back comes down. Inhale, reach for ceiling. Exhale, ab curl. Inhale, bring it all down. Three more, come on up, bridge on the exhale. Inhale, arms. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms, ceiling. Exhale, up, curl. Inhale, down. Two more, exhale, come up, bridge. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, back down. Inhale, arms to ceiling. Exhale, up curl. Inhale, down. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to the mat. Breathe here. Rock your knees a little bit from side to side. Should be feeling nice and awake now. Core's ready to go. Bring those knees into your chest. Keep that rocking going from side to side. Bring knees to center. Inhale, come up, nose to knees. Exhale, head comes all the way down and feet will come down onto the mat. Keep those feet about hip distance apart. Again, not too far from your seat. We'll come into another little sequence. So first thing we're gonna do is our yoga crunch. So go ahead and interlace your fingers, bring that to the back of the head. You're doing this so that you can fully support the head and the neck, the core lifts, not the neck. We're gonna peel on up away from the mat. So we find that upper ab curl, and then there's some options here. We can hold, or we can bring knees into chest, or we can extend the legs. Then the feet will come down and the head will come down. So inhale to prepare onto the mat. Long exhale here, we curl up. Knees can come in, or legs can extend. And then inhale, feet down, head down. Again, lift up. 
Knees in, legs extend. Remember those are options and everything down on the inhale. Two more, exhale to come up. Inhale to come down. Last one, exhale, come up. Inhale, come down. And release your hands down by your sides. We're gonna add on to this little sequence. Next little activity we're gonna come into is we're gonna play with our bridge. So big breath in. And then exhale, press through the heels, press through the back of the arms, come on up, find bridge pose. Let the breath flow here. We'll take some time just to let the body settle into bridge. So you're pressing through your heels, you're squeezing your glutes a little bit, you're keeping the core engaged. That navel's drawing to the spine here. Backs of the arms are pressing into the mat, your chin is untucked. Two rounds of breath. Keep the core engaged. Again. Now still holding bridge pose, we're gonna think about the heels, the feet. So inhale, bridge, and then exhale, see if we can lift the heels. Inhale, heels come down. Exhale, heels come up. Inhale, heels come down. Exhale, heels come up. Two more, inhale, heels down. Exhale, heels up. Inhale, heels down. Exhale, heels up. Inhale, everything down onto the mat. Back into your yoga crunch. Interlace the fingers, bring it to the back of the head. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, curl on up. Knees can come in, legs can extend. Those are your options. On the inhale, feet come down, head comes down. Exhale, curl. Legs, inhale, feet down, head down. Exhale, curl, legs. Inhale, feet down, head down. Two more, exhale, curl, legs. Inhale, feet down, head down. One more, you got it. And bring it to the mat, release your hands down by your sides, back into that bridge sequence. Big breath in. Exhale, engage, press, come up. Inhale, bridge. Exhale, bridge. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift heels. Inhale, heels down. Exhale, heels up. Inhale, heels down. Exhale, heels up. Inhale, heels down. Three more, exhale, heels up. Inhale, heels down. Exhale, heels up, inhale, heels down. Last one, exhale, heels up, inhale, heels down, back down. Knees into chest, breathe. Little bit of movement, rock from side to side or circle, whatever your low back prefers here, just add in a little bit of movement and massage for the low back. Let the breath flow. And then when you are ready, we are going to come on up. So you can hold on to the back of the thighs. You can rock and roll or you can roll to the side and then press the ground away. Come up and flip it over onto your all fours, tabletop. So knees underneath the hips, hands ever so slightly ahead of your shoulders. First thing we're going to do is extend the right leg out behind us and bring the big toe down onto the mat. You're going to press back through the right heel, so you're feeling that stretch down the back of the right leg. And then you're just going to ease off slightly, so we're bringing the weight into the upper half of the body. Then we press back, shift weight back, enjoy the stretch, and come forward, ease off, bring it into the upper half of the body. Again, press back and then ease off, rock forward, and find center, draw the knee underneath you. Other side, extend the left leg, big toe down. Exhale, press back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, press back. Inhale, rock forward. And again, exhale, press back. Inhale, rock forward. Find center, bring the knee underneath you. Even out the breath. And we're gonna come into cat and cow. So inhaling, cow pose, belly dropping, chest lifting, 
gaze lifting, exhaling cat pose, round the back, gaze between the knees, inhale, find cow, belly drops, chest lifts, gaze lifts, exhale, round, find cat, one more, inhale, cow, exhale, cat. And neutral table, let the breath flow. Deepen the breath slightly. Remember that breath is going to get us through class. That's our energy. So when you are ready, we're gonna come into a tricep dip followed by a supported plank push-up. So what does all that mean? It means this. On hands and knees, your tricep dip is drawing the elbows in towards you and then you're bending the elbows so that they start to point back towards the knees. We're encouraging them not to wing out to the side. As the elbow comes back towards the knee, you're going to notice that your hips want to shift back, but we want to hold the hips in place as much as we can because we're working the arms here and the triceps, the back of the arms. So take a deep breath in, exhale, engage your core and pelvic floor. Inhale, hug those elbows in and bend the arms, bend the elbows just as far as feels comfortable. We're holding those hips in place and then we exhale, press it back up. We inhale to bend, drop it down, hold your hips in place as much as you can. Exhale, press back up. So you should start to feel this on the back of the arms. Let's go for a few more rounds, tricep dips. Don't worry if you're not bending the elbows too much. This is a lot of strengthening for the back of the arms. So we're just gonna work where we're at today. Two more, we inhale to bend. Keep those hips steady. Exhale, press. We inhale to bend. Exhale to press back up. Awesome, now walk your hands out in front of you ever so slightly. Shift your weight forward, find supported planks. So the knees are down, the belly's still engaged. Slight difference here is that we're actually gonna drop our chest down towards the mat, bending the elbows, coming as low as you can, and then press back up, push up. Hug the elbows in, lower down towards the mat. Press back up, push up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to press. Inhale to lower. Exhale to press. Two more. Hug the elbows in towards your body. Think about your Chaturanga Dandasana. Back up. One more. And up. Bring the hands back towards you, all fours. Straight back into those tricep dips. Hug the elbows in. When you're ready, core stays engaged. Inhale, bend the elbows. Dip down. Exhale up. Only four of these. Inhale, dip down. Exhale up. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Walk those hands out in front of you. Four of these. Shift the weight forward. Supported plank. Hug those elbows. Big breath in. Come down. Press up. Inhale to come down, exhale, press it up. Two more, inhale down, keep squeezing the core, exhale up, last one, hug the elbows, come down, press it up. Walk those hands towards you, widen your knees, big toes together, and sink down, child pose. Forehead to the mat, and then, Draw your hands towards you so that your elbows are bent and your shoulders take a bit of a break. Deep breaths here. Take this opportunity as well to come into a gentle wrist stretch. So you can flip the palms so that they're facing up and then you can just make a fist and squeeze the fist to the forearms and release a few times. Or you might just like to circle your wrists, but just want you to spend a little bit of attention and focus back on the wrists, because that's a lot of work for them to do as well. And then when you're ready, you can just let your hands rest, foreheads down to the ground. We're going to take four big breaths in our child pose. So as you inhale here, your focus is to send the breath all the way around into the back body. 
And then as you exhale, let it all go. Empty the lungs completely. Two more like that. Inhale. Full expansion of your rib cage. Exhale, soften. Again, inhale deeply. Side out. One more big breath. And let it go. Gently lift your head, walk your hands out in front of you and draw yourself up to find your tabletop once again. From your tabletop position, you're gonna walk your hands out in front of you a little bit further. You're gonna take that supported plank once again. So shift the weight forward, knees are down. We're over, weight is over the top half of the body. We're gonna do one push up. So we're gonna bend the elbows on the inhale, come down. And then we're gonna exhale, press all the way back up. Now root your left hand down and your left knee. We're gonna pivot over to the side. Left hand, left knee to the ground. You're in a supported side plank, or you could think of this as a supported half moon pose if you prefer. Right leg is extended. Right arm is extended up and overhead. So we're either here, modification is drop it down onto the forearm, left forearm and left hip down onto the mat. So decide where you're gonna be and we'll get on into it from here. Lift up the right foot. We're going to inhale to lengthen and we're gonna exhale elbow to knee, so side crunch. Then we're gonna inhale to lengthen and we're gonna exhale, sweep your right hand and your right foot out in front. And then we're gonna inhale to lengthen, exhale to side crunch. Inhale to lengthen, exhale sweep in front. We got it. Crunch, sweep, crunch, sweep. Keep going. Two more. and drop it down, right foot comes down, spin it back onto all fours. Let the breath flow, inhale cow, exhale cat. Told you the focus was abs and arms today, inhale cow, exhale cat. Another round, inhale cow, exhale cat. Tabletop position. We've got to do all that on the other side. So walk your hands out in front of you. Find your supported plank. One push up. Inhale, dip down. Exhale, press up. We're spinning now over to the other side. Right hand and right knee stay grounded as you open up to the side. Left leg, left arm along. Or we're modifying this, remember, bringing right hip down and right forearm down. So wherever you are, settle in. Here we go. We lengthen, we lift the left leg from here, crunch, lengthen, in front, lengthen, crunch, lengthen, in front, lengthen, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, we got it. Keep that belly strong, keeps drawing navel to spine. Push the hips forward, especially if you are up on the knee. Two more. And lengthen. Drop the foot down, spin it back, all fours. From here, find cow on the inhale. Find cat on your exhale. One more cow on the inhale. Cat on the exhale. Find table. 
Walk your hands out in front of you. Find that supported plank once again, but this time you're coming all the way down onto your belly. So deep breath in as you bend the elbows and lower all the way down. Exhale, belly to the mat. Stack your hands, one on top of the other, and then just rest your forehead on top. Keep the legs nice and long. Take a couple of breaths here. Just softening into the mat. And then I want you to come back to the core and think about engaging your core in this position. So the tops of the feet are pressing firmly into the mat. You're going to start to draw your navel, your belly button, away from the mat. Press the pubic bones down into the ground. Squeeze your butt just a little. And then we're going to come to the upper body. We're going to place our forearms down, out in front of us. We're going to start to lift our head, lift our gaze, hands down into the ground, then grip the mat or the ground as if you're trying to pull yourself forward. We get a little bit more lift through the chest. Shoulders are dropping away from your ears. And you're in your sphinx pose. Hold it here, nice and strong. Keep all that engagement going but let the breath flow. Keep going. One more. And we're gonna come into Twisted Sphinx. So your left fingertips are gonna to point towards your right elbow. Then you are going to gaze over your right shoulder, keeping all that engagement going through the core. Think about this left shoulder. It's gonna have a tendency to roll forward. You're gonna pull it back away from the ear. Keep that lift and expansion through the chest as you gaze over your right shoulder. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale, reset back to center. So the arm and the head. Inhale here. Exhale the other side, so right fingertips, left elbow, gaze over the left shoulder. Settle into the breath. Think about what's happening over on the right side, draw that shoulder away from the ear, open it across the chest, deep breaths. Big breath in. Exhale, reset back to center, your arm and your gaze. Slowly lower down as you draw your hands underneath your shoulders. Gently press the ground away. Travel through tabletop and then send your seat all the way down to your heels for child pose, but go nice and slow here. You can even widen your knees a little bit if you'd like to. Sink on down into your heels, forehead to the mat, and now Bend your elbows and bring your hands to prayer and then rest that behind the head. So this is a really nice stretch for the back of the arms, for the triceps that have done a heck of a lot of work already. So we're gonna give them a little break and a little stretch. We're gonna soften through the low back, soften through the shoulders. Really work to send your breath all the way around and into your back body. Full expansion of your rib cage. Two more. And then release your hands down. Draw yourself up, table. Tuck your toes and make your way into your first downward dog. So hips up and back. Now walk your dog one foot at a time. Get that stretch down the back of each leg. And when you're ready, you're gonna settle into your downward dog pose. So heels are rooting down towards the mat. They don't have to be on the mat. It's just the intention to lengthen down the back of the legs. That might even mean you want to bend your knees a little bit so that we can start to lengthen through the bottom of the spine. Getting that nice straight line from crown to tailbone. Press evenly through the palms. Relax your neck and hold. 
deep, deep breathing here. This is a great strengthening pose. We're going to enjoy it. And on every exhale, perhaps you soften a little bit more. Perhaps the heels drop a little bit closer to the mat. The legs lengthen a little bit more. The hips lift. Just keep breathing. Big breath in and out. Inhale, extend your right leg out behind you. We're not going to send it high because on the exhale, we're going to bend the knee, hug it into the chest, hug it in, hug it in, and then step your right foot down. Option to drop the back left knee here if you like or keep it lifted for a runner's lunge. Your left hand roots down and we're going to take the right arm and we're just going to sweep it all the way around in a great big sweeping circle, all the way around. We're going to bring it back down and again sweep it all the way around, big sweeping circle. And one more, big sweeping circle. And bring it down to the mat. Now reverse, send your circle the other way. Spiral your chest to the ceiling. Nice twist as the arm is up and overhead. One more. And bring your right hand down to the ground or onto a block. We're going to take the same action on the other side. So left arm, big sweeping circle. Spiral your heart to the ceiling as the arm is up and overhead. Drop it down. Again, big sweeping circle. One more. Bring it down to the ground, reverse it, other way, big circles. Last one. And let your left hand come down to the mat. Step your back foot, your left one, in slightly. I want you to be able to rise up to find warrior one. So that means both feet flat to the mat. So shorten the stance if you have to. Settle in. Bend into your right knee. Now a little shoulder shrug. Reach for the ceiling, shoulders lift. And drop shoulders back down. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, drop shoulders down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. As the shoulders drop, bring the arms behind you. Interlace your fingers, make a fist. Inhale, root the fist down, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart and your gaze. Exhale to hold here, deepen the stretch. Inhale here. And now exhale, fold inside of your right leg. Doesn't matter how far you fold, work where you're at today. It's also your choice to allow the hands to rest on the small of the back or to start to extend up towards the ceiling. But your main focus is sending the fist away from you so you can feel the stretch and the expansion across the shoulders and the chest. Keep breathing. Soften, big breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Now exhale, release your arms and sweep them down to the ground in front. Take your right foot out to the outside of your mat. We're finding lizard. Hands can root to the ground here or on top of blocks. You're going to send that left leg out behind you just slightly so that the left heel is lifted. Hold here, deep lizard stretch. Option to deepen it if you'd like to and drop it to forearms. Yogi's choice. Find the lizard that works for you today. Big breaths. One more inhale. Exhale. Let the breath flow. Bring that right foot back between the hands. Your back heel, your left one is going to stay lifted because we're going to come into crescent. So ground through that foundation, engage your core and rise crescent lunge. Settle crescent lunge. Back heel lifted, deep stretch here. 
Press back through the left heel so you really get the stretch down the front of your left leg and bring your palms together and down to heart center. Press palms, activate the arms and the shoulders. From here, twist over to the right, come to center, keep pressing palms, twist over to the left, and back to center. Twist to the right. We're trying to keep the hips facing towards the top of the mat. This twist is coming from your middle upper back, not through the hips. So as you come over to the left, that feels a little bit more tricky, so go slow. One more right. Center. And left. And center. Strong legs here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step back to plank of choice. So that might be knees up, that might be knees down. Wherever you are, inchworm, so knees, chest, chin drops, hug elbows, slide, cobra, down, up and back through table if you wish, down dog. Breathe, down dog. Resting pose. Enjoy. One more breath. Inhale, extend the left leg out behind you again, not too high. Exhale, draw the knee in, hug the knee, hug it in, hug it in, nice and strong. Step your left foot down. Back knee can stay lifted or come to the ground, your choice. Right hand to the ground, left arm, sweep it up, big circle. And bring it down. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, bring it down. Keep spiraling your chest to the ceiling as the arm is up. And overhead so you find that twist. Now reverse the circle. Again. One more. And the left hand comes down to the ground or to a block. Twist on the other side. Right arm up and overhead. Bring it down. Sweep the arm, big circle. And down, one more. And down. Reverse your circle. Keep those legs strong. Core is engaged. One more. And we bring both hands down. Bring your right foot forward slightly. Remember you're coming up for your warrior one. That means both feet flat. Rise up. Settle. Get into this warrior one stance with strong legs. And then inhale, shoulder shrug. So we lift and we drop shoulders down. We lift, drop shoulders down. Again, lift, drop shoulders down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop shoulders down and release arms behind you. Interlace, make a fist. Root the fist down, roll the shoulders back, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Breathe in. Breathe out here. Breathe in here. Breathe out, fold inside of the left leg. Remember your choice how far you're coming into this fold. Just keep rooting the fist away. Feel that stretch across the chest, across the shoulders. You can soften a little bit more with each exhale. One more breath in, and as you breathe out, release your arms down to the ground in front, finding lizard, so you scoot your left foot over to the edge of the mat. Send your right leg out behind you slightly so that the back heel's lifted. The palms plant down, you're breathing here, breathe out here. Drop to forearms if you wish, deep, deep stretch. One more in, one more out. Let the breath flow, scoop to your left foot back between your hands. You're coming for crescent lunge, so the back heel is lifted still, the core is strong, and then you're coming up and settling into crescent. Deep stretch. Feel that solid foundation, and then when you're ready, palms together and down to heart center. So we're taking this twist again, upper and middle back, hips 
Stay facing towards the top of the mat. Palms press, twist over to the left. Center, twist over to the right. Center, left. Center, keep it strong, right. Center. One more, left, we've got this. Center, right, center, reach, strong, strong legs, and fold, plant your hands, step back, plank of choice, knees up, knees down, inchworm, so knees, chest, chin down, elbows hug in, slide, cobra, down, tuck toes, press up and back, down dog, walk this down dog into a forward fold. So come to the top of your mat and soften. Let your head hang heavy. Let your arms be heavy. Let the shoulders relax. Couple more breaths here. Melt your belly to your thighs. Breathe in, find a half fold with a flat back. Breathe out, find a full fold. Inhale, gently rise all the way up. Palms together and bring them down to heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it down. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it down. Pause at heart center, interlace your fingers. Bring this to the back of your head. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your gaze, lift your heart, let the head be fully supported by the hands, press through the feet, keep the core strong and exhale, fold. Hands resting on the back of the head, not pressing, not pulling, just resting, allowing the weight of the arms to gently release the back of the neck. A couple of breaths here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release your hands down to the ground. Walk on the fingertip outside of your left foot, bend your left knee, keep lengthening through the right side here. Deep breath. Bend both knees, walk through center, outside of your right foot. Keep the right knee bent, lengthen the left side. Deep breaths. Bend both knees, come back to center. Plant your hands down, step it down to table. Nice neutral table. From here, we're gonna go through cow cat, but we're gonna bend the elbows as we go to add a little bit more upper body strength through the transition. So for cow, we bend elbows, scoop and then press up cow. And then for cat, we bend elbows round and press for cat. Bend and scoop up cow. Bend round, press cat. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And table. Gently scoot your heels around to one side and come to sitting on your seat. Or come crisscross. Easy seat. From here, reach your arms up to the ceiling and then bend elbows. So cactus arms, chest is wide. Inhale, little lift, little back bend, gaze lift. Exhale, straight spine, close arms. Inhale, open. 
exhale close. One more, inhale open, exhale close. Reach arms up and then drop your left hand down to the ground. Keep reaching through the right side and bring it into a nice side stretch. Reach through the fingertips. Ground the right hip. From here we're going to rotate our torso towards our left hand and then we're going to tap the right hand down to the ground. We're going to bring the right arm up and rotate back to center. Rotate towards the left hand, tap down, bring it up and center. One more, rotate, tap, bring it up, center. Take your right hand all the way down to the ground. Lengthen through the left side. Side stretch. Enjoy this for a few rounds of breath. And now rotate, left hand taps down, right side, bring it up, and center. Again, rotate, tap down, bring it up, and center. One more. And float your left hand down from here. Both feet to the mat. Ground your sit bones. Press evenly through the feet. Scoot the feet a little bit out, out in front. Engage your core. Your navel's drawing to your spine. Reach your arms out in front of you. Now draw your shoulder blades onto your back. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slow your roll. You're coming all the way down onto your back. As slow as you can go. So even if that means we get to about halfway, and we want to use the support of the legs to slow it down to keep that contraction through the abs. That works. That's a great way to do it. Just make sure you're working and going slow. All the way down. And then release your arms by your sides. Walk your feet closer to you, about hip distance apart once again. Take your left leg and stack it into figure four or recline pigeon. Reach around the right thigh, hug it in. Enjoy this stretch. Untuck your chin. Let the shoulder blades press evenly into the mat. Draw the legs towards you. Take a deep breath in. And now release your hands to your sides. See if we can use the core and the leg strength to hold the legs in place. Navel's drawing in towards spine. Deep breath in. And now exhale, see if you can send the legs away from you slightly, keep that core strong. And then inhale, draw them back towards you. Exhale to send them away. Maybe you get a little toe tap here, and then you bring the legs back in, but be very mindful of what's going on in your low back. If your low back is really starting to arch as you send the foot to the mat, you've gone a little bit too far. And we want to make sure that we're keeping the core engaged and we're protecting the low back here. So only sending that leg or that foot as far away as works for you. So pay close attention to what's happening in and around the low back area. We want to keep the abdominals really strong here. We'll do one more. And then we'll bring the legs in, take a little release and gently bring the right foot down to the mat. Take the left leg, lengthen it away, and then bring left foot down, other side, stack your right side. Reach around the left thigh, hug it in, a few rounds of breath, just enjoying the stretch. And then once again, make sure shoulder blades are pressing evenly into the mat, release your arms down, core is engaged. And right back into that little exercise. So you inhale to get the legs towards you and you exhale sending the legs away but keeping that core so, so strong. Belly's really squeezing towards the spine. And notice the difference on this side. Each side of the body is so unique. Perhaps on this side, the foot gets closer to the mat. Perhaps it doesn't want to go anywhere near the mat. What's going on? No right or wrong. You're just working within 
your range of motion. This is your practice. And just observing what's going on in the body. Two more. And then we're going to inhale, draw it in, and we're going to exhale, release it down. Right leg lengthens, and right foot comes back beside left. From here, widen your feet as wide as your mat, let your knees rest in, or reverse that if you prefer your recline bound angle, soles of feet together and knees wide. Whichever feels best for you, you can always bring blocks under the thighs here if you want to really support this stretch. Then we're just going to bring the hands to the belly. And take a deep breath in. We're going to open up your mouth and sigh. Do that again. Take a deep breath in. Open up your mouth and sigh. One more. And now just settle into your final pose. Let your shoulders drop into the mat. Let your belly relax and become soft with the breath. And we'll just take a few rounds of our Ujjayi breathing. So that's inhaling through the nose to fill the belly and the lungs, full expansion. And then as you exhale, you're exhaling through your nose, but you're constricting the airflow slightly over the back of your throat. Get that hissing sound or Darth Vader breathing. Noisy breath. So let's go for it. A couple rounds in through the nose. Out through the nose. Imagine on every inhale you are breathing in softness. On every exhale you are encouraging any remaining tension to leave. You're inhaling softness. You're exhaling tension. A few more. I encourage you to stay here as long as you need to, to keep nourishing your body with your breath. Don't rush, really take your time. And when you are ready to close your practice, just gently bring the feet back to the mat and add a little bit of movement. Always check in and see if there's another stretch you need before you continue on with your day. But seriously, don't rush. Take your time. Thank you for joining me today for your live stream. Namaste.